Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is supposed to address an alleged contradiction in the Quran regarding three verses. One of them is Surah 22, verse 47, which says, And they challenge thee to hasten the coming upon them of God's chastisement. But God never fails to fulfill His promise. And behold, in thy sustenance sight a day is like a thousand years of your reckoning. So here we see that a day is equivalent to a thousand years to humanity. The next is Surah 32 verse 5. He governs all that exists from the celestial space to the earth and in the end all shall ascend to him for judgment on a day the length whereof will be like a thousand years of your reckoning so here again we see that one day is equivalent to one thousand years to humanity the third one is Surah 70 verse 4 it says all angels and spirits ascend to him in a day the length whereof is like 50,000 years so here we see that a day is equivalent to 50,000 years to he or she who is eager to point out a contradiction this looks like a success but are these verses saying the same thing or are they talking about the same things let us look at them one by one let's go back to surah 22 verse 47 and they challenge thee to hasten the coming upon them of God's chastisement but God never fails to fulfill his promise and behold in thy sustenance sight a day is like a thousand years of your reckoning what is being said here what Allah is telling us here in essence is be prayerful be steadfast be thankful but most importantly be patient why because when 1,000 years pass to humanity irregardless of what happens between that 1,000 years or those 1,000 years is just one day to God only one day has passed so if you were born let's say a hundred years ago you were born you were sent to school you got an education you uh, socialized with friends you got a job got married and had children and your children had children you were successful in your career and everything there's a whole lot of things that can happen in a hundred years let's say it was a hundred years well spent or a hundred years wasted but a whole lot can happen in hundred years that hundred years you have lived is just one tenth of a day to God you might have lived in your comprehension you might have lived for so long but it's just one day to God so what this is saying is be patient stop hoping that the day of judgment is gonna come next week or is gonna come next year or in your children's lifetime uh, your children's uh, lifetime or whatever because it's probably not going to be that's why the uh, day of judgment is also referred to as the day of resurrection because most people will have to be raised from the dead because most of us will be dead before that day that's why it's also called the day of resurrection it's a it's an inevitable day but most people will have to be raised from the dead so this is pretty much talking about how long it will be before the day of judgment because if God made the day of judgment maybe about 20 years of his own
time or time uh, reference that means 20 years times 365 days times a thousand that's a long time no one's gonna live that long no one is going to live that long so what's the point live your life be patient it's definitely gonna happen that's what that verse is saying to, to the next verse uh, ayah 32 sorry surah 32 ayah 5 says he governs all that exist from the celestial space to the earth and in the end all shall ascend to him for judgment on a day the length whereof will be like a thousand years of your reckoning so this pretty much is talking about the day of judgment itself especially to those who have denied the truth the truth those people will have a long day pretty much because the day is not going well for them it will be a long day it would just be one day but it would seem like you have spent a thousand years waiting for your judgment waiting for your destination heaven or hell so it would seem like a really long day that's what this verse is saying is speaking about the day of judgment it has nothing to do with the length of time between the beginning of the universe and the day of judgment speaking to the time reference or speaking of the time reference of that one single day alone no contradiction surah 70 verse 4 says all the angels and spirits ascend to him in a day the length whereof is like 50,000 years it seems like a contradiction like I said to someone who is eager to find one but this is not as much a time reference as it is a reference to distance whenever all the angels are sent to do whatever duty they're sent to do they have to give feedback to the one who sent them they travel from wherever the destination is to God is going to take 50,000 years that means the distance is so long that it will be up to 50,000 years of travel this has nothing to do with time reference between creation and the day of judgment this has nothing to do with time reference on the day of judgment itself is speaking about a distance so to speak so there's no way that three different things can contradict one another because they are different actually so there is no contradiction this is just another confirmation that the Quran is perfect it's a challenge that there will be much discrepancies had it been that this book was not from God these three verses are not even referring to one another these three verses do not say any single thing that is common you are all talking about three different things so there will be more videos dealing with the alleged contradictions in the Quran so stay tuned assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh